Yeah. When we get knocked time, off. But we're good. It's a shame because right before we got knocked off, I was going to tell a very funny joke, but I'm going to have to hold off on it now. <laughs> <laughs> and we got that going. We got people coming in. There we go. Let's get everybody else in here. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Dissy, Ms. Lizzie. Well, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm. I, yeah. You can't see me, but that's all right. We see. Well, you. Have you toggled <laughs> your video on in the lower left corner? Yeah, I thought I did. Tom, I can see you very well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good looking guy, right? My mother taught me never to lie. <laughs> okay. Yes, you're a very good looking man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that made my evening. Attaboy. <laughs> and it's there. So if anybody wants to share it, I'm on Miss Liz's YouTube channel. If you want to share it on your platforms, you're more than welcome to. There you are. Do do. We have guests that are coming in that you might not know that aren't Tea Time guests. They were collaborators that worked with Miss Liz to make all of this magic happen over the four years. Uh, we also have some of Miss Liz's supporters that have encouraged me to stay strong over the years. Uh, we just have a bunch of different people in here tonight. So it's a party. <laughs> so what I um, what I'd like to ask all of you guys because we're going to have a full house and we are live on YouTube right now. Put all your information in the chat. So if anybody would like to collaborate with anybody or would like to be a speaker on a podcast, any of that stuff, we have podcast hosts here. We have writers. We have directors. We have music. If you're looking for something, children's books, we have lots of incredible children's authors. Uh, for all the viewers and listeners out there that are tuning in to Miss Liz, if you'd like to do some Christmas shopping, check out all of these incredible people. They have books and projects and programs and services. All of my guests here have something to offer. So. Okay. So. I'm just going to give it another two minutes and then I'm going to start with a video and yeah. then we're going to have some updates and some good old time and see how many people actually enjoyed their tea times with Miss Liz. Okay, that's all there. I'm going to just bounce from screen to screen so that I can mm. get comments that are coming in. There we go. Is this the right one? We got that. Okay, we're going to close this. So Liz, are these meeting chats that we're putting there, are you copying and pasting them out to the other channel or... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be sending them out. I'm going to be copying and pasting into the com into the comment section for the YouTube page. So people can reach out to you guys. Uh, did you Perfect. Guys? Thank you. Not a problem. And if anybody that's watching and is sharing this, you, uh, this event out, if you'd like some information and I don't get it into the conversation box or comments, please reach out. I will get it to you guys. I'm also doing a save of all of the information that is being shared tonight. So you guys, if you don't get it in there, I can get it in there for you guys. Okay, it's all good. So we're going to close this one. I'm going to leave that one open. I'm closing this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that. I need that folder. Where's that folder? You guys can see all my other messy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we have everybody in here. I'm going to mute everybody and I'm just going to share my screen with all right, of you guys. Okay. Oh, let's go like that. And we're going to get. Where is it? There we go. I want this folder. So I'm going to just minimize you guys and I'm going to open up this so people can see. Are we all still there? Yeah. <laughs> Are we set to start? I'm pretty sure we're already live. So Ms. Lucy might be trying to um set the video to play or something. Oh, okay, gotcha. The intro. Gotcha. Yeah, intro yeah. video is playing now. Uh, so we're in the background. Correct. I'm not a big fan of Zoom, guys. I just want to let you know that, but I'm okay. <laughs> I know. I'm a StreamYard. <laughs> oh, StreamYard. I'm a, uh, I, uh, I like Restream. Oh, I haven't tried that one. I haven't heard of it. 
I suggest to try it because um, they handle QR codes. And if you guys are familiar with QR codes, they work phenomenal. Wow, that's fantastic to know. They, they really deliver the reach of your of your show or whatever you're trying to present your business or whatever, you know. Thanks for sharing. So it's Restream? Restream.io. Mm -hmm. I know DC is here. She does Amazon Live. That's oh, yeah. With it. I, haven't yeah tried, I haven't tried Amazon Live. Yeah, Restream, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal network. Uh, they love to um, bring in new features, but they, they, uh, some of the quality there, the audio and the, and the video is excellent. Uh, they usually run on like a 1080, 4 quality type video. I'm writing myself a note. <laughs> I'm savage, by the way. I, uh, I've been on with Miss Liz uh, a few times. She's a great, great individual. She is. Well, I'm not sure if you guys seen the video or if it's working because everything was set for the webinar, but we are doing the meeting. So I hope you got to see the video. If not, you guys can check out the video. It has been put onto Miss Liz's YouTube page. And it's just to show who we have joining us tonight. Uh, we have all different people coming in from different countries. We have over 18 different countries that are here tonight with us. Uh, so I want to keep it really sweet and really, really close to heart. Uh, I'm going to jump to each of the screens. If you can all give a one minute update and then we're going to have some music and we're going to have some entertainment and all that good stuff. Deliala is going to, from Jazz from Peace is going to do something. Nancy Soul. Uh, we also have James who I don't see yet. James Devine is going to be playing saxophone and we have Kevin yeah. Rivette. If he can make it, he's going to be singing some song. We're going jazzy tonight because I, I love jazz. So we're going to be doing some jazz tonight. We're going to do some soul <laughs> music and all that. And I think it's good for Christmas time. Yeah, so sure. I'm going to start with uh, who's beside me and then I'm just going to pop along. So one, <laughs> one to two minutes, give your updates and tell your favorite moments of tea time and all that good stuff. And then we're going to just keep moving along. So I'm going to go in the order that I have on the list here uh, because of the different countries that are coming in. It's really late for those guys. So we're going to get them in first. And then we're going to have some fun facts and all that good stuff. So you can spill the tea on Miss Liz on what you found about Miss Liz. So we're going to start with Anjay, if Anjay is here. Uh, I think he's just coming in. So we're going to get Anjay, then we're going to get Lukman next, and then, and then we're going to get Dr. Parakel from India. So we're going to do Nepal, Pakistan, and then India. So let me see. Anjay, are you in here? We have, yeah, we have Anjay here. He's not got a camera, so I'm going to go to Lukman. Lukman, I know you're here. I can see you. <laughs> Hello, uh, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. We can hear yes. you. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have a little problem of speaking by the condition of my health. Uh, you have to bear me a little bit. Uh, anyhow, um, it's a really honor for me to be here in uh, front of you, sitting with uh, uh, all of you uh, to share my point of views and ideas as well. Um, th first of all, uh, I would thank to Miss Liz, uh, who is one of my mentor, who is one of my inspiration. Uh, I, uh, uh, it's the third time uh, of the reunion uh, with Miss Liz and all of you again. Um, uh, before, uh, basically, I am an advocate of human rights, working for peace and justice uh, with different organization internationally, and um, leading my uh, own organization. Uh, which work for uh, 
education uh, uh, as well. So, yeah, I uh, I'm not well by the con my health condition right now uh, because uh, my tongue is affected from uh, some traumas uh, and um, other things. That's why. But um, we, uh, um, you, we live in some crisis. So we, uh, <laughs> we um, thought uh, different type of things. Uh, we learn uh, different new things. Where I have uh, learned a lot of things from uh, uh, this uh, time. So, uh, where I have learned, I think uh, that um, um, what I would say about it, uh, we have to be strong in our life. We have to be strong uh, in our uh, in every crisis, in every problem. Uh, I strongly believe in God and uh, that's why it's, uh, I believe that it's a second life which God gave me. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Lugman. I'm going to jump over to Jonah in Haiti. And Jonah... I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself and I'm going to pin you. <clears throat> Jonah, can you hear me? Okay, I'm going to just keep moving it along because we got a lot of people. So, uh, Angie, let's see if you're here. Hello? Oh, Jonas is here. Jonas, can you turn your camera on? Okay. There we go. Jonas, I can hear you. Go ahead. Give us your updates. Okay. Um, I greet everybody. Um, I am Jonas. I'm from Haiti, um, Little Highland, close to Dominican Republic. Um, so we are sharing island together. So... I am a CEO of Vision Hope for Haiti oh, and Creole. Our model languages is Creole. That means vision is for YT and English, Vision Hope for Haiti. I can tell, I can tell um, it's a very great opportunity um, for me and then to see um, some different kind of faces. And then so I have a special greeting uh, to, to Miss Liz a special greeting again, you know, to everyone that listen and watching me right now. So, as I said, and then a young, so we have a young organization. So that we we was started in in 2014. So until now, we keep we keep um continue, you know, with uh, some different kind of projects. Okay, that we uh that we planting in this community. So I have to go quick and in such as we do sponsorship project and then to, to assist uh, the parent, the family, okay, to keep, to keep pushing the, their children to school because as the word says, okay, education is one of the keys, you know, that can make the youth, the people be succeed in life. That's why we, we adopted Okay, education. So we do vacation Bible school every summer with the kids. And then also we do Christmas child. And then we do, so we, we inverse our knowledges, you know, our, so I, as our knowledges and then all our tools, you know, that we have, you know, as a youth. And then we use all, we put all, you know, available and then to, to embrace, okay, um, some different kind of characters, you know, that we have in our community. But um, so far as, you know, everybody maybe can have a little background information about the country where I'm from. So Haiti, um, as a people said, you know, it's a very poor country, 
but inside of a poor country, we are not going to base, you know, in the in the poor resources, you know, that Haiti have. But we have some beautiful place, you know, somewhere else. But uh, so far in a politic, so the big problem, you know, that we have, uh, so our government, they are really neglected, you know, people that living so in the poor, in the poor community. But that's why, so we as a youth, okay, we put together after January 12, 2010, okay, it was a de devastating earthquake in Haiti. So maybe you guys can hear about that too. So we was serving, you know, with the U.S. Army guys, you know, when they came down to help. So to serve, you know, different community in Haiti. So we was serving them. So I was, um, I was a volunteer. Okay, um, help help them with translating English to my mother language, Creole. So we spent uh, five months um, volunteer and then to help the U.S. Army guy, you know, with, uh, um, so that's uh, leading lay, hands, food, okay, to the people just after the diversity earthquake. Just they left when the U.S. Army get back to United States. So I keep going. So serving with uh, missionary, um, uh, medication, we say medicine missionary, and then so I keep follow, I keep learning. You know, other people be generous and serve. So the, all of those things, you know, was inspire me. So um to create, you know, an organization by the name of Vision Hope for Haiti. But uh, we, so as I was we say in two thousand fourteen, and then we started with this, and then until now we keep serving our community. So one of the biggest things, you know, that we are, are working on it since since 2017 until now, you know, to be to build a big school or primary school like academic school for the, you know, for the children and the community. Because um, we Jonah, see the need. Jonah, I'm going to get you to share the rest of the information into the box because we still have a lot of different people that need to still speak. So just put all that information into the box. I thank you for showing up. I really want to appreciate you. Uh, I'm going to go next to Carl Ryans, who is a supporter of Miss Liz, and he's in Trinidad. And uh, I'm going to get him to say a few words on how he met Miss Liz and what, uh, how we've been together. Okay, that's right. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We love you thank guys. Thank you, Jonah. Carl, the floor is all yours. Hi, good evening. Good afternoon, all international listeners and viewers. Are you hearing me clearly? Yes, we are. Yes. yes. <clears throat> right, good. I am Carl Ryan, mental health consultant, and I am presently residing in Trinidad. And it's glad to meet you all. I um, met Miss Liz a few years ago. And since then, um, we have been very good supporters of each other. In Trinidad, um, I focus on mental health education, which is paramount over here. And um, particularly, um, educating persons, um, conducting mental health assessments, and um, what I call psychiatric counseling, which is a bit different from what um, psychologists do. Um, I, I conduct workshops in churches, in schools, and in the community as well. And generally, I support persons who are finding, finding it difficult to cope with their mental health mm -hmm. conditions. Of course, overriding this is the sort of poor mental health services we have in Trinidad. And so our only hospital is over 100 years old and I believe has outlived its usefulness. So I'm doing what I can to promote positive mental health. And my main goal is to access a large enough property where I could establish what I call a mental health retreat 
-hmm. and where we would use farming and agriculture as therapy for the patients rather than the huge reliance on antipsychotic medication. So that is about me in a nutshell. Um, I established an NGO called the NICER Foundation. And NICER, N-I-C-E-R, is an acronym for Neuron Institute Clinical Excellence and Research. It's a bit futuristic, um, but hopefully we'll get there at that point. So I'm glad to be with you all. It's my first um, sort of collaboration with Miss Liz, and um, I value her support and her commitment to serving humanity at such a high level. And so I wish you all good health, energies, and long life to continue in your journeys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm going to go next to Tom Rose. So Tom, I'm going to bring you up so you can share a little bit. Tom is from the United States. Let me add Tom. There you are, Tom. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, and a Happy New Year here in another week. Uh, I am an accidental author. After the death of my wife from breast cancer in uh, 2019, a friend talked me into to writing a book after he read my journal notes. So it's my first book I've ever written. So, uh, but uh, I, I self-published it, uh, a couple hundred copies, thought I'd sell a few hundred and, or, and maybe sell some and to pay for the book and it'd go away. Well, a friend asked me to speak at a uh, organization and I, one speech and uh, a year and a half later, I'm about to approach my hundredth speech on my book. Uh, I've been on, 40 or 50 podcasts, radio programs, television. Uh, it has become my quest, so to speak, my ministry, my mission. Uh, I, I, I got cocky after I wrote that book and everybody accepted it. I wrote a novel and I got a publisher for the novel. And when I got a publisher for the novel, he said, well, I'd like to have your book, Bullet in a Box, about grief. And I said, okay, well, he said, what I want you to do is I want you to to do an update just right after the end of each chapter, what's happened to you over the last uh, year and a half or so with the speaking. So I've done that. Um, my son joins me and goes with me. He says he's driving Mr. Daisy uh, to, <laughs> to the events. Uh, uh, my, my, my presentation is uplifting. It's not a downer. I tell everybody uh, we're not on a journey of grief. We're on a journey of love because without love, there is no grief. So you're really when you're when you're grieving, you're on a journey of love. And uh, uh, I I always make people do one thing. I'm going to make you all do it right now uh, as I sign up and say, thank Liz. I want you to all say, I love you because we don't say it enough on three. Everybody say, I love you. I love, I love, love, love you. 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 Thank, thank you, Liz. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm going to jump over to the next person I see on the screen, and that's Jeff Rosley. So I'm going to bring you up, Jeff, and you can share a little bit. I'm just going to go with who's next to me on the screen, guys. Okay. Namaste, Liz, and everybody here. Um, so I met Liz uh, online, and I've been on... Uh, her show a couple times and we're actually scheduled to be together again uh, pretty soon. Um, I'm a writer, uh, a lawyer. Uh, I'm the president of two foundations, one in Nepal and one here in Indianapolis uh, where I live. Uh, the one in Nepal has done basic infrastructure work uh, in a remote area called Basa. And we just uh, completed our first economic development project, which was to create a cooperative pig and goat herd for the village so they can actually make some money. Uh, the other foundation, Scientech Foundation of Indiana, focuses on um, education, primarily STEM education for underserved areas uh, in Indiana. And I'm also, uh, board member of the Indianapolis Peace and Justice Center, 
which gives educational programs on peace and justice. And I just had my 14th book published, which is um, a fun tale. It's a novel, but it's based on my actual experience of hitchhiking around the country when I was 18 years old. So great to see you all. Thank you for having me, Liz, and good luck to you, Liz, and everybody else for 2024. Namaste. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Diane, you're next. Uh, Dina, I'm going to bring you up. Diane, Dina, I always get her name mixed <laughs> up. <laughs> but let's get you to say a few words, sweetheart. So, Diane or Dina? Dina, Dina, Diane. Oh, okay, you Diane. Know me. I always get it mixed up. <laughs> I want to make sure that there is a Dina. Um, so hello everyone, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a blessed new year. I'm Diane Fleurbay. I'm a children's author and young adult historical fiction. I love Miss Liz. I met her through my publicist that I'm so blessed to have, Mickey Milkinson, and um meeting. Miss Liz has been incredible. What a beautiful soul she is. And seeing all of you guys, I know you are like Miss Liz. You bring a lot of light and love to the world. And I feel so excited to be part of the reunion. Some of the fun things with Miss Liz is when I'm on her show, it's so free flowing. I don't know where it's going to go and what her questions are going to be a surprise. And so it's very exciting. Um, I've also listened to Miss Liz. If you haven't been to boomer.org, um, go there. It's an incredible website resource. But Miss Liz's uh, life journeys and that she shares on her blogs are so moving and powerful. And Miss Liz, thank you for sharing those stories. They're I mean, sometimes I'm in tears. They're so beautiful. Um, besides writing children's books, I love to go out and be into the schools, do school signings. I love, uh, before COVID, I traveled internationally to schools and taught creative writing along with the teachers. And it's, I just get so excited when I'm in the schools. And um, so that's me in a nutshell. It's, oh, but my thing is all about embracing imagination, to love yourself, be kind to one another. And um, just enjoy life and be curious. That's what my books are about. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miss Liz. Well, thank you so much. Next, I'm going to bring up Dee Dee Johnson uh, to get her to do a few words. Uh, let me remove you. There you go, Dee Dee. It's all yours. Hi there. Can you hear me? Gotcha. All right. Hi. Sorry, I had to get off work. And uh, I just thank you for having me on here, Liz, and I uh, appreciate you in this time. And I am a uh, writer, uh, actress, uh, director. I try to do it all. I try to be a jack of all trades, but I haven't mastered a lot of them yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just grateful that um, Liz let me uh, come on her, her podcast. And I'm just grateful that uh, I get a chance to do skits and and plays. I've written a couple of plays of my own, and um, it was called Pity Party, and I got it from, <laughs> I went through a horrible divorce, and so I got really, I went through a lot of emotions, so I took those emotions and I put them into characters. And uh, I acted it out as a skit and I was angry Angela and lazy Liz and I was depressed on, I was all in people all in one. And I decided to make it as a play. And then I did another one and then I've been doing other skits. I um, This is my character Eve uh, from the Garden of Eden, <laughs> my, my do now. <laughs> And uh, I do um, the modern day Eve, what I think Eve would probably have said back in the day uh, when they blamed everything on her and Adam was right there <laughs> beside her. So I kind of take up for Eve and it's like, you know, Eve, uh, you wasn't the only one there, but uh, I love doing her. And then I do other little skits and things at church. And But I talk about God 
that's my thing. If I can't talk about God, then I can't talk about much of anything. So that's about it in a nutshell. And I have some other projects that I'm working on and for next year. And uh, Liz let me come on and tell my, my stuff about how I got started. And I just love being able to be myself. And I thank her for allowing me to do that. And that's about it. Well, thank you so much, Dee Dee. I'm going to yeah. jump over to Rick Delarada. He's got some music for us. We're going to get some music going, and then we're going to get a few more updates and a few more conversations going and all of your fun facts. and that. So, Rick, we're going to give you a couple of minutes to play some music for us, and then I'm going to bring back some more people for some more updates. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to start out with just a, a, an intro of a little Christmas thing, and then I'm going to go into a kind of a original song that I wrote when I was 17 years old called Willie is a Sheep. Somehow it fits into today's world. And uh, then I'm going to just freely improvise. It's part of a free JA, uh, you know, 129th performance of that I'll do today. And hopefully I'll be able to keep it all within a few yeah. minutes for you. Thank you so much, Rick. All right, let's see.
us here The happiness that we are risking We won't care to fight And we won't justify Those that see the light Shine through the light You don't have to be a sheep If you find out that you know the chicken Thank you, Thank so, you so much, much Rick. Rick. My pleasure. I'm going to get Savage up here because Savage has to drop into a production. So we're going to get Savage going. Let me get you wherever you are. Let me find you. I seen you two seconds ago. Where are you, Savage? I, do, do, do. I see. Okay, Devin, I'm going to get Devin more up because he has to leave as well soon. So let me get Devin up here. There, go ahead, Devin. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Devin Moore. I am the founder of Race to Speak Up, which is an anti-bullying organization. And I am also the author of Devin Speaks Up. That is a children's anti-bullying book. And I had the opportunity to meet Miss Liz and be on her podcast um, through my publicist. So we was able to talk about the importance of bullying prevention. Now, just to kind of give you guys a Quick synopsis on what I do is with Race to Speak Up, we go into schools, we go into companies, uh, organizations to educate students about what bullying looks like, how we can prevent it, saw how we can solve it, what are the best ways to support each other through being upstanders, someone who supports the target of bullying. And beyond that, I um, when it comes to Devin Speaks Up, there is where we go into schools, we go into different communities to read Devin Speaks Up, which is about my personal bullying story as well, to educate students from young ages, as well as overall everyone about how we can effectively have something done and something in place to support all people. So thank you again for having me. And actually, I would really love and appreciate if everyone on this call could Really quickly, just on the count of three, say race to speak up. So one, two, three. Race, race to, to speak, speak up. up. Speak up. up. <laughs> Wait, one more time, one more time. One, two, three. Race, race to speak, speak, up. speak up. up. All right, thank you guys. Okay, have to get off now. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you so much, Devin. Have a good night and Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna get Savage up here. Uh, do, do, do. You should be there already on the pin. Go ahead, Savage. Okay, can you hear me good? Gotcha. Yes. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, Miss Liz. I, I have other things I have to do real quick, but I wanted to jump on real quick with you guys. Um, I met Miss Liz um, actually a few times uh, with her show. Uh, we discussed many things about... Um, uh, many, many lines of work that I'm constantly uh, evolving myself in with acting, uh, comedy, um, podcasting, talk radio, uh, generalized media. Um, I pretty much do it all, guys. I've uh, been, in, been in the radio business for well over 20 years. i uh, been aligned with several, several networks um, with I, um, I Heart Radio. Uh, in the mid 2000s, as well as K Rock 92.3 up in New York City, which is no longer available anymore. It's transitioned into a alternative uh, music network. Um, and I dabble in uh, in the movie industry, guys, as uh, sometimes as a movie extra, as well as production work uh, with Universal Studios here in Central Florida as well as other companies um, I'm not going to get into because of contract issues. But um, for the last four going on now, five years, uh, I've been basically producing and hosting uh, with the help of some friends that I've known uh, throughout my early foundations with radio, my podcast, uh, Savaged Unfiltered, uh, which you can hear anywhere, guys, on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Music, 
Uh, and I believe there's like 40 other audio platforms that are aligned with that. I uh, wrote a book earlier this year, guys, um, called America's Political Warfare, Our Modern Civil War, uh, which is available on Audible as well as Amazon.com. It's available in two formats, the Kindle version as well as the soft cover. Uh, in the midst of actually writing a second book, uh, which I want to give a big shout out to one of the uh, guests that were on with Miss Liz, um, Joseph M. Leonard, uh, which you probably will see soon, uh, which actually uh, motivated me to write the first book. Um, and he's actually motivating me to write the second book. So um, that is actually in production. Uh, should have that out in August of 2024. So thank you very much, uh, Joe or what we call Jokester Joe on my show. But guys, I'm going to make it real short and sweet. I know I'm kind of flying by here. I'm just giving as much information about myself. But, um, you know, I, uh, I always ask people, um, you know, if you have a story, you want to come on the show, whatever background you guys have, whether it's a political background, a comical background, or even uh, you're an author yourself like me or an actor like myself as well. Come on the show. I'd love to hear your story. I've had it all on my show from politicians to comedians, whistleblowers, uh, lawyers, police officers, uh, a few J6ers. Uh, everybody's been on my show. So um, I'm savaged. And uh, Miss Liz, thank you for having me. And uh, like I always say to Miss Liz, Miss Liz, I know I'm funny sometimes, but I love to have your humor back on Savaged. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> When I come on your show, it's always about meat. I I, I swear, oh, I ordered a meat lover the last time I was on there because it was just a pizza lover. Uh, oh, you know, uh, thank you, Savage, and I, I'd be honored to be on your show anytime. And next, we're going to jump on to John Callis because he has a slip out as well. Uh, I do realize it's Christmas season, so if anybody needs to go, just send me a direct message and I'll get you up as soon as we can. We're going to go through it really quickly, and we're going to wrap it up with Nancy Soul if she's still here as well. She's going to play some music, so uh, do some singing for us. But I'm going to get John to do his update since being on Tea Time. Good evening, everybody. Um, first, I want to thank Liz for having me on. And um, after our show, we were talking and I said, you're a hoot. And so it kind of stuck between us that she's now Miss Hoot to me. So it's it's very exciting to be on here. Um, I also want to thank all of you for making a difference in the world and helping people do, doing what you're doing. I think it's admirable. I think it needs to be um, acknowledged that we all are doing a lot. And sometimes it's hard. And I, uh, I just want to thank all of you for, for making a difference. So my name's John Callis. I'm a 50-year veteran uh, director, writer, producer with eight award-winning productions, including an Emmy nomination. Um, I'm very active in the film business. I've been, I've done iconic work. Uh, I've also written six novels and I'm a life experience mental health expert. Uh, I, um, I welcome people to call me. I've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with people to help them through their crisis. And my whole concept is that traumas and anxieties and um, abandonment issues and anything people are suffering really don't have to define or ruin a person's life. They can be learned to be managed and overcome. Uh, I'm not an advocate for drugging people. I'm very much an advocate for helping the mental health process develop. Uh, I'm gonna keep this short because there's a lot of you folks that should have an opportunity to talk. I did write, um, well, as I said, six books, but my memoir, When the Rain Stops, um, guides the reader from when I was a ghetto kid to becoming a successful Hollywood director and what I had to go through uh, with the traumas of childhood, abandonment, losing my dad at three, and uh, being sent away to military school where I, I was abused to levels nobody could ever understand, but anyway. That's my story. Um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I send lots of love to you all and uh, keep doing this great work that you're all doing because it, it does make a difference. God bless you all. Well, thank you so much, John. And I'm going to let you skip out because I know you boys in town, so you enjoy yourself. And Miss Hoot will be in contact with you and let's do some hooting later. <laughs> we we <laughs> owe each other much. a margarita together. So we <laughs> will stay in contact, John. So you have yourself a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays as well. And stay in touch and we will make a difference together. Thank you. Take care, everybody.
Next, I'm going to jump into Jim Price, who has Harold from the hood, who Miss Liz is getting for her little granddaughter. So I want to get Jim in here. So welcome, Jim. Thank you for having me. Um, blessing to be here. Um, yeah, so my experience with <laughs> Miss Liz has been um, definitely very touching because, I mean, <clears throat> we had a very interesting <laughs> Um, show where we talked about a lot of things, not just about um, social aspects in terms of kids' development and stuff, um, but just, you know, having a genuine conversation where it was um, enlightening uh, the, the audience to know more less about, you know, social skills, but about Harold from the Hood, which is my, <clears throat> my series. Um, so, yeah, I'm a children's book author um, and creator of The Adventures of Harold from the Hood, social skills series for K-6. through six. I'm also a school counselor. Um, I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, the same. I was raised and born in the same city as Dr. Seuss. So it's like we have that kind of thing where my it's almost like my flow and rhythm of how I, I do my children's books, which I do have a copy right here. You probably can't really see it. But uh, yeah, he's a purple snail here over the hood. Um, yeah, so I mean, I have that rhythm and flow and rhyme kind of similar to Dr. Seuss. I, I always said um, he's a pioneer in the children's book game, and I kind of um, un, un, kind of unexpectedly kind of follow in that flow of how he um, does, you know, cat and hat. When you think about how all those things rhyme and rhythm. Um, so yeah, I'm into that. And I, I'm a school counselor. I also am just finished up my um, doctorate degree at American International College. Um, so I'm in the process of just expanding my brand and, um, you know, in terms of a lot of different things, I have um, plushies that I'm working on that I collaborate with. Um, I'm also working on a pilot episode um, cartoon thing um, that's going to be like, you know, just a pilot episode. Um, so I'm trying to try and expand the brand and, and I'm in living in my purpose of doing what I'm supposed to do, is, which is inspiring youth worldwide to be the best that they can be. And also have my program, um, Children Learning Social Skills Through Literacy, which I do speaking engagements with. Um, I do read out louds, puppet shows with kids K through six, um, tr development training. And I also have, uh, I have wrote here, I had put together like a full, uh, what is this? A screenplay for the adventure of hero from the hood um, that was put together for me a while back. So I, I mean, I'm just trying to have my hand in everything, but it's all about inspiring the youth worldwide. Um, for me, I've been so unfortunate. My journey has been pretty interesting. Um, you know, I go from writing the first book and um, my series been endorsed by Dennis Scott, um, two-time Grammy winner and um, Andy McPhee. So it's like all the stuff just materialized. And all of a sudden I'm like sitting in Los Angeles on CBS Los Angeles and talking about my book. Like it's just been a whirlwind of stuff. And along the way, meeting so many fabulous and interesting people. I'm just so tremendously blessed. Um, but yeah, that's my story. And uh, yeah, it's so great to meet everyone. Um, wishing everyone a happy holiday. I was just blessed to be here. Well, thank you so much, Jim. And don't forget, I'm getting Harold. Now I have an incredible friend who actually lives in Cornwall we're with me, and we have actually hung out a lot. Stephen Doris is the founder and creator of, uh, a co-founder, I believe, uh, for Men Talk and Mental Health. We, As you can see, there's a big issue on mental health, and I want to bring awareness to it through my platform. So Stephen, I'm going to give you the floor now to speak. Well, thank you very much, Liz, for having me. It's been a while since we actually communicated, uh, and we live so close, but, you know, don't see each other. Um, you you gave me a boost when you let me do your show. Uh, you actually gave me a bit of uh, wings, air under my own wings to help me do what I want to do. In the Since we, uh, we did the show, my men's group is going to be celebrating five years as of January 27th. Uh, we have had uh, 96 people come through the doors as members. Of course, they don't all come, but um, we, you know, we, we average about 12, 13 per, per meeting. And we even went all through COVID. We never missed a meeting. It was like we did it online. We did it in the parks and everything else, anywhere we could. Um, and also we ended up, Ivan and I ended up being invited to 
uh, have our own little uh, TV show here in Cornwall called Man to Man, which is on, uh, which is strictly for men's mental health. We've just uh, recorded our 43rd episode, so it's been going well. Um, also, I wrote a book like everybody else here seems to be doing. I, mine is not published. Mine is still here read, being typed every time I turn around because I, instead of typing, I hand wrote it. So like I got over 200 pages. I'm only at 100 pages typed, but it's a memoir about... Um, my journey, how uh, things have turned around and how fortunate I am to still be here like after the crappy beginning of my life. And my life is full of wonders and I just keep moving forward. And uh, I I'm thankful to everybody. And like every I listen to everybody talking there. We, we do have a theme going about mental health and it's all about mental health. We have to make sure that we let people save it. And we, we, you know, I, I preach, uh, I walk the walk and I talk the talk. If you're going to uh, talk about mental health, take care of your own. I had my own troubles in the last year or so. And so, you know, I tell people where to go, what to do and how to do it. Well, I had to listen to myself and do the same things because if you're going to talk, tell somebody what to do, you got to do your own crap. That being said, uh, that's about everything that's going. I'm happily married still. She still wants me in the house, apparently, so I'm doing good. Um, and that's it. That's it. Thank you for having me, Liz. And I hope to see you in town someday. <laughs> I know, right? We need to get some coffee. We need to have a cup of tea together. Like, it's been ages. We're, we're so close, but yet so far. Yeah, yes, I've been you. down your street a couple of times, but, you know, you've never been outside. <laughs> <laughs> I've been inside working. <laughs> oh, well, by the way, so we're starting, I'm starting a podcast in um, February on mental health also. So that's, we're hoping to launch in February if everything goes right. So Awesome. Keep me posted for that, Stephen, and I'll put that as an update on the page for all the people out there and all my viewers and listeners, all my other guests that have been here. I'm going to jump to Bob because I don't want Bob to fall asleep on me. I want him to catch and give me a big fish. Did you catch a big fish since <laughs> the last time we've been together? <laughs> Actually, I went out a couple of weeks ago twice and uh, it was fun. One day um, was really calm and I didn't catch many, but the next day was rough and I caught a bunch of them. So that's how it goes out there. So I had a I going. Good, good. I had a great time with you, Liz, when we were on the tea time. Um, you really took an interest in uh, your guests, and it, uh, and I really enjoyed it, and I appreciate you having me on. Hmm. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I wrote a book um, called A Flicker in the Water. It's about uh, my experiences fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, Liz really enjoyed the stories, and uh, she was great, and I'd do it again in a second. I'm working on another book now about um, about baseball and the franchises in Major League Baseball, and I've got some some football poems also. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Well, thank you so much, Bob. I'm going to let you rest up so you don't fall asleep on me. Stay awake. We're, we only got a little bit left to go. I'm going to bring Joseph in because Joseph is another one that likes to pick on me. And you know what? I kind of The men that have been on my tea time are kind of like my – big brothers or some kind some of them are even like husbands like they 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 just really pick on me a lot so i'm gonna get joseph on here yeah well i was been spending most of this time trying to figure out how to make fun of your hat but i'll just let it go <laughs> it's a moose it go, it's the canadian moose <laughs> yeah i am joseph m leonard aka j leonard detroit on 15 different social media platforms activist, author, podcaster, host of Constitutionalist Politics, available on 15 different podcast platforms, co-host of Savage Unfiltered. You, you heard from Michael, a.k.a. Savage, earlier. I'm known as Jokester Joe there, as Miss Liz knows extremely why. <laughs> and... Uh, I, I'm the holder of more than three dozen copyrights, but I only currently have three internationally available books. 
terror strikes coming soon to a city near you, Christitutionalist Politics, which is based off of the Christitutionalist Politics podcast, how to write a book and get it published, hints, tips, and techniques, because after going on on a billion different shows, they're asking me to come back to talk about writing and publishing, and Amazon has plenty of how to upload your book to Amazon, but not a book about from beginning, the creative, to the post, the marketing, and all that in between. So I wrote that one. And then I'll leave you with a joke I've been running around telling today. Hopefully it won't upset anybody. But on Facebook, there's been a meme being shared about a guy running out of a liquor store with a bottle of Jack Daniels in his hand. And the guy in the meme says, with all the expensive liqueur, that's what you steal, a bottle of Jack? And my first thought is if one makes off with the Jack, does that make one a jack off? Well, I see a couple people laughing, at least. I hope I didn't offend anybody. But <laughs> hey, that's why I'm Jokester Joe. I can never pass a lame pun. But <laughs> And I put, I put my stuff in the chat, of course. So anybody wants to reach out, feel free. Well, thank you so much, Joseph. I'm going to go to Linda Drattle who actually was in one of my blogs on my website. So let me get Linda up here. Uh, add Linda. Linda, can you? Hi there. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. So uh, thank you so much for having me on this podcast. And it meant a whole lot to me to be interviewed by you, Miss Liz, for um, uh, on StreamYard. And it especially meant a lot to me because I'm deaf and I use captioning to understand what everyone's saying. And Miss Liz worked so hard with me at one point for over an hour to make sure captioning was working. So um, that being said, uh, I have written two books. I have a third book that's going to be published next year. Two are poetry books and one is a children's uh, picture book that I co-authored. And um, my stories and my poetry are about self-reliance and struggling. The children's book is about um, a dragon who self-isolates because he can't imagine anyone would want to be his friend, given that he's so different. And then he meets a boy who ignores everything that's different about them and becomes his friend. And it's a, it's a lovely story. I identified with the dragon because of my being late deaf and, and I felt nobody could possibly want to be my friend and I stopped going to parties, that sort of thing. And my co-author said, no, she identifies with the dragon because she's half Mexican and she doesn't feel like she fits anywhere. And our illustrator said, no, that dragon's me because I'm the son of Filipino immigrants and he didn't feel like he fit anywhere. So that's sort of where that went. And my, my writing, I actually started seriously writing after I was losing my hearing because I felt like I could at least create characters that could talk with ease with each other and understand each other. And then I met with a group of friends and I read the story and each one accused me of talking about them. And I was like, no, no, the story's about me. And that's when I realized that not only is writing a great cathartic exercise, but it helped rebuild channels for me to stay in connection with the with, with everybody else. I'm going to be um, presenting on this topic in the Netherlands in March and in uh, Florida in uh, in September, um, both late deaf and organizations that asked me to explain how writing has helped me and, and, and um, yeah, that sort of thing. So anyway, thank you all for having me on the podcast here. And I want to leave time for everybody else. So thank, you. thank you so much. 
Linda, it is a pleasure. And Linda was also in a blog on one of my blogs on my website. So if you want to check that out, she wrote a poem mm -hmm. called The Must Duck because we had a viewer had that a viewer. wanted her to write a poem and she wrote that. So it's on oh, there and it will be published in uh, Miss Liz's I'm poem books that will be coming out soon. Let so me... next I'm, I'm going to get to James. I see James is here now. So I'm going to get James to play some saxophone for all of us. I see you somewhere. Hi, everybody. There. there we go. Thank you, Linda.
Thank you so much, James. Thank you. That was a real pleasure. So, James, how have you been since we've been on Tea Time? I've been um, really good. It's been um, probably the best month I've had with this self-employment journey um, any, anyway. And Thanksgiving, I got to have seven of my 10 grandkids over. Oh, wow. So you all ready for Christmas? Yep, definitely ready for Christmas. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, James. I appreciate you playing a saxophone for us tonight. Uh, you know, I, I like to change it up every year. I like to add some music, some comedy, some plays and all of that. So I'm going to keep it going because we still have a, a lot of people here. We have Nancy. Nancy, I'm going to close up the show with you so you can sing and bring the bring the feel of Christmas to everybody. So Nancy, you're going to be last. I'm just giving you a heads up. You got to stick around, girl. So I'm going to go to Francis Altman next, and then I'm going to go to Judy right in after that. Good evening. Good evening, Francis. How are you? Yes, well, it's been great here. Eight months uh, later, after publishing my new book, uh, Destiny's Daughter, about Mary Edwards Walker. In case you don't know, she was a Civil War soldier and America's first uh, surgeon, female surgeon, and the only woman to have received the Medal of Honor. So it's uh, I've been chugging along, getting good reviews. And, of course, I'd like more podcasts and, and more um, radio, and that's what I plan to do in the next few um, months, I guess, I, up until June. That's when uh, Mary Walker's portrait will be given uh, on, will be minted on a quarter in your pocket, so you can be jingling along with uh, her uh, quarter in your pocket. In case, in case I'm, you don't really know, there are about 12 or oh, well, maybe even 20 quarters, U.S. quarters being minted over the past, uh, this year, last year, and the coming year that have, that bear women's, uh, portraits on them. So, uh, anyway, I do want to thank you, Liz, for inspiring me at 80, 86 to get out there and be competitive with some younger people in promoting their book. So I don't have much else more to say, except that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few months. And uh, Merry Christmas and good wishes to everybody. Well, thank you so much, Francis. It was a pleasure having you on Tea Time. And let's stay connected and let me know where that coin is so I can get that and get myself a coin. Well, it's coming from the U.S. Mint. So I hope, of course, people don't carry so much change in their pockets anymore, but it'll be available June 3. Awesome. Next, I'm going to get Anne Ch Chittapelli in, Ch Chittapatty in, and she's going to give us, and then I'm going to go to Judy because I did say I was going to Judy next. Hey, can you hear me? I can. How are you, Liz? <laughs> I am good, and yourself. Well, goodness, uh, it's good to see you, girl. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for inviting me, and um, this is just a, a great opportunity for all of us to, to make connections. That's what I'm about, making connections through my writing. Um, actually, this is a really good time for me because I will be... Um, uh, hopefully promoting another novel um, in the spring, and I just sent it off to my editors. To, so it's really exciting. Um, I'm a multi-genre writer. I started out with poetry, and I've done nonfiction essays, a memoir, and a short story collection and two novels. The, the, the most recent one will be coming out in the spring. I'm also a visually impaired writer, and I like to bring that into my work at different levels. Um, my memoir certainly talks about that. And, my, um, uh, and I, I'd like to uh, be able to make connections with people um, so they can understand about people with disabilities and, and our challenges. And also, um, you know, just, uh, just to make, you know, things clear that we're just like everybody else. We, we, you know, we just, um, we just need a little bit of a handout every now and then. Um, so I just, uh, that's all I really have to say. Um, peace and joy and blessings to everybody. And I can't wait to listen to more of you good people. Well, thank you so much. And again, let's stay in touch when that new book comes out. We'll get it out there for you as well. All righty. Thanks. So Judy, I'm going to get you going, girl. Great. 
First of all, I echo some of your sentiments, um, all of you that I'm um, honored to be amongst you. And I really believe that thought leaders and change changes are finding each other right now. And uh, Liz, I think you're a magnet for them just from what I'm seeing in this group. So uh, may we all find each other and find ways to help the world together so that because there's some real need for people. <laughs> I work in workplace culture transformation. I'm an author. I have a book uh, called What's the Deal with Workplace Culture Change? It was published by People Tested Media. I have 250 published articles. Um, I was just featured in uh, CEO Weekly, which I put in the, um, the feed. But what I really want you to know about me is that my mission is to create a world in which all people love their lives. And so um, I'm actually really loving my life. And I will say one thing that has happened for me recently that has been super helpful is I'm reading a book called You're Not Broken. And it actually tracks with my own work, but it is helping me personally go deeper that the biggest problem we're all facing is believing there's something wrong with us. That's the problem. So as soon as we realize there's not, we don't have to prove anything anymore. And Liz, I felt that with you right away. I felt like you, I didn't have to prove anything to you. It felt very natural to be with you. And um, I, I did something for Liz that I, uh, I love to do. I did a human design on her and combined my energies and her energies to see what strengths are created between the two of us. And I just want you all to know that in case any of you want to do a human design, because I think um, we're all called to understand ourselves deeply and to understand who we are with one another. So that's really all I wanted to share. Um, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. Next, I'm gonna jump over to Doug Lawrence. And he, he joined me last year for the first time and he came for both shows. So I wanna get Doug's words on where you've been and what you've been doing. Cause I've been seeing a lot about you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully all good. <laughs> yeah, most of it's good. So th well, thank you for ha having me on your sh on on this show and and for being on a couple of the others. And I just check my uh, messages and I see that uh, our great publicist friend Mickey Mickelson has got me scheduled one more time. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And what I wanted to share to tonight was the aspect of how great a host you actually are. That you you. Put, I know you put me at ease and you made it so much easier for me to tell my story. And my story was such that I had uh, a published international uh, uh, bestseller book, You Are Not Alone, which it deals with um, it deals with mentoring mental health and grief. And it's, it was actually a Global Book Awards bronze uh, medal winner as well. So that's all new stuff that sort of happened. And my story has been sticking much the same around mentoring, mental health, and grief. And I lost my wife to cancer in uh, 2021. And that's been sort of the motivation that I've needed to write this next book. And we're in the manuscript editing phase of that particular book. But all of that, having said all of that, that would not be possible without your support and your guidance, Miss Liz. So thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Doug. And it's always a pleasure to see you. And I will see you in the new year. We are scheduled for a tea time. So a lot of the guests are coming back. And that's what I really appreciate is I, the ice is already broken. So I can get a little deeper with all of you guys when you come back the second, the third, the fourth time. Lugman's been on tea time five times. So he just loves coming on tea time. So he's he's the top rank right now. He's been on tea time five times. So uh, thanks again, Doug. Uh, I'm going to get to Roxanne. And I know that Charles has left, but let's get Roxy on here and let's get her to share a little bit on her stuff and her books and updates. So Liz, thank you so much. And I got to tell, uh, I, you know, everybody's sentiment is the same on here. You are just a magnet for fun, a magnet for opening up and chatting with people. And you make this holiday season a much better place just by being in it. And seriously, you need to go ahead and pat yourself on the back because you are an amazing individual. 
So, you know, I'm here because of Mickey Mickelson, like many of the folks on here. And, you know, it's it's wonderful to be a part of this. Uh, my co-author and I, uh, Charles Brakefield, so we write as Brakefield and Berkey. You know, we have done two books this year. We kind of have been dabbling in cozy mystery, which has been a lot of fun. And um, our thrillers are doing very well. But, you know, mostly it's connecting with people. You know, it's great to be a part of a group where we can do podcasts. We can share things. We can, you know, I post blogs um, that would be available to people when I review books. So, you know, it's just it's just fun to be a part of this wider group and this global group. So, Liz, thank you very much for just having us on Tea Time. And I can't wait to have some more tea. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Roxanne. I really had a pleasure with you guys. And I like the Dark Vader, the little, little guy that Charles brought in. So it was really good. And it was May 4th. So may the force be with you. So when you guys were on tea time. So may the force exactly. be with all of you guys out there. You know, we always make a difference and we always support one another. And that's what I've done is I've supported all of you guys and you have all supported me and you're here tonight. So I want to thank you all for that. I'm going to jump into Allison Hammond next, and then I'm going to jump into, let me see, who do I still have here? Simone, I'm going to jump into Simone because she's in Trinidad, and then I do see Anjay is here, so I'll do the, get you guys in that order. All good to go, Allison. All right. So I am Allison Hammond. I'm located in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is right here in our mitten of Michigan. And I am a visual facilitator, which means that my technology is markers and a whiteboard or a piece of paper. And so I don't do a lot of talking in my work. I do a lot of drawing. You talk, I draw. And I wanted to say, Miss Liz, that um, you have been my answer in the mornings. I don't watch the morning news anymore. I usually watch your podcast if I'm not watching another podcast because it gives me good news. I learn something every single time. There's so, so many different people that you bring on. And what I want to say is you do your homework. I learned more, I think, about myself doing an interview with you than I think maybe I shared with other people. So I'm really, really grateful to be here. And I did want to say one of my visions is to bring drawing back to the whole world and for more people to start using drawing for visual thinking, because most of us are visual thinkers. And frankly, we drew before we wrote. People wrote on cave walls to do planning and to communicate with each other. I'm just bringing that back happens to be markers in a whiteboard. Thanks, Ms. Liv. Everybody have a good ho holiday season. Well, thank you so much, Allison. And I can't wait to see what you bring up to the table and we should have tea again together. Uh, I'm gonna it. get, I'm going to get Simo on. I do see her now. Yes, I do. There we go. There's my girl. Hi, good night, everyone. Hi, Liz, it's such a pleasure to be here. Um, sorry, it's a bit dull. I'm Simone Paxton. I hear from the beautiful Trinidad Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And I just want to commend all of you for the work that you're doing and for Miss Liz as well. I mean, it's really been a pleasure meeting her, knowing her over these past few years. Um, we met on Tea Time a few years back. And also, I am president and founder of a non profit organization, the Sophia Miriam Foundation. And Ms. Liz came on and did a talk with our girls a couple of years ago, and she also shared some book presents, posted all the way to the Caribbean for them. That was really lovely and appreciated. And um, we just finished our graduation, actually, on Saturday gone for our team girls from all over the world. We have a couple of people in the UK and in the US, um, some from Suriname, some from Guyana, um, Dominica, obviously Trinidad, um, St. Lucia, we have girls from all over the Caribbean and the world who now take part in our Girls Empowerment Program. And it was really, really a pleasure, you know, to have them and so much love and appreciation shown. And, you know, just to know if you're making a difference in the lives of young women. It has always been my passion to help empower others. Um, I love entrepreneurship. That's one of my passions. And agriculture as well. 
and I really enjoy working with young people and you know helping them to gain the tools for a better future you know um, something that I wish that, you know I had you know and if I had more guidance um, you know probably sometimes you make less mistakes you know um, Jen um, mental health um, expert in Trinidad here as well so I just want to say good night to Dr. Ryan so it's really lovely I hope to you know, connect with some of you in the very near future. Thank well, you. Well, thank you so much. It, we need to connect again. It's been too long. <laughs> She's been, it she has, was on season yes. two, so. <laughs> well, that's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> that is a long time. That's two years ago. We're going into the third year. We're going into season five. Anjay, are you there? I I see him there, but I'm not sure if he's here. So I'm going to come back to Anjay. I'm going to go into Nancy next. Nancy Nance, who is also a co-author with me in Sacred Hearts Rising and a sister and a friend. So let me get Nancy in here. There you go, Nancy. Oh, you're on mute, girl. Let me see. Let me let me help you out here. Good, Nancy, where are you, Nancy? Nancy. Nancy, you're on the phone. Okay. Did you get that message? Look at you just rocking it all on. I'm so grateful. Yeah, I, I usually don't use the phone. I usually use my uh laptop but that's out in uh tax land you know that place that we go to once a year because uh well yeah enough said <laughs> <laughs> yeah liz and i uh, we were a part of sacred hearts rising which was a blessing it was a huge blessing diving into the world of writing as many of you have done it's uh it's a beautiful place to be it, it's just truly wonderful and Liz does have that ability to help us all just be ourselves. It is her grace and her absolute amazing that helps us all so very, very much. Greatly touched to be able to meet all of you in the most wonderful, wonderful ways. I have two podcasts right now. One that's called What Matter What's Matter What What Matters Most. And the other one is called Recover Your Joy. My co-host is the amazing Daphne McDonough. She's on both of the podcasts most of the time. And uh, we've got some extraordinary guests coming up. So looking for a few more. I've got some pre-records I'm working on and then scheduling into the spring. So lots of good stuff coming up. And like y'all, I'm making the big, bold step into my memoir. My memoir is about the loss of a child addiction um many many layers of trauma it's uh it's it's been an interesting right when i've been diving back into where i am no longer into those feelings of anger and betrayal and abandonment it's uh it's a lot of fun so I'm meeting with my publisher now and uh cruising along cruising along so yeah it's good what did you say about singing singing <laughs> oh, I, thought you said I, was sing. me. <laughs> I thought you said I was gonna sing I'm like I've been practicing in my car but I'm not quite ready for that <laughs> no we have we have Nancy soul in from the cruise ship who's going to be singing she's going to wrap it up oh, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna I'm gonna I thought you wanted me to sing I can't I sang yeah. one song and that was for Sacred Hearts and that's all I'm doing right I, mean, Ms. I, was, Ms. I was open Ms. I was open Ms. and willing Ms. but I'm a little do bit karaoke nervous karaoke carpool <laughs> Right. Um, you never know right we we can start that a few I'm more glasses get... of wine and anything's possible <laughs> she just swung get... that on me nancy so i'm i'm things scrambling going okay um okay <laughs> i thought i was going to talk about something else but that's okay i'll i'll pony up i'm ready <laughs> next i'm gonna get james in so he can give us an update he has to run as well a lot of these guests are, it is christmas time so i do appreciate you guys taking this time for me tonight and for all of my audience out there so James, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's been since season two. Like some of these guys I've been seeing like two, three years ago. Like, wow, James, nice to see you again. 
Well, thank you, Liz. And yeah, we had a great time together. And um, when we talked, I was running uh, my RBT, which is like a fitness organization, which I still run. And we still put on a show once a year for people that do a bunch of weight loss. But my primary thing is I've been a director, producer, writer, and I've done different things, uh, fitness type documentaries and UFC type documentaries. Uh, uh, most notably, maybe George St. Pierre, obviously kind of from the Montreal area. And I was born in Cornwall as well. And um, I'm working on right now a documentary about the sports car industry in uh, Toronto. So it's kind of a fun, sexy type of project. and uh, it, But it's got a lot of uh, heart to it as well. So I'm in the process of editing that right now. And um so it's not like the charity type of stuff and the sort of things that are here, but it's uh, entertaining and fun and it has a lot of uh, eccentric characters. And um, we've got one character that we follow and he sort of starts out very just totally focused on being superficial. And um, I know we have like some disabled people here and stuff. He uh, sells like disabled things so that some of these like guys that drive the sports cars can park in handicap spots. But by the end of the movie, he ends up uh, kind of finding himself uh, because we have this charity run where he meets a, a young boy that's uh, had a couple of uh, brain surgeries and he they kind of form this bond that you wouldn't expect. And by the end of the movie, he's a very different person. So it's, it's kind of a fun, uh, sexy movie with a heart to it. So uh, right now we're trying to... I, I'm... I'm making offers to like celebrities to get a narrator. And uh, so that's an interesting process. And um, we've been putting offers to some A-level people, but uh, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening over the next uh, few weeks with it. But it's definitely fun to be doing. Well, awesome. Thank you, James, for joining me. I'm going to let you skip out. I know that you have other things as well to do. I really appreciate you taking the time to join me. I appreciate all of you guys for sitting here and listening to all of these updates. If you, if some of you have to skip out, I do understand. It, this was not a mandatory tea time. This was a time for us all to just align and get to know each other. If you want to see what other flavors and blends were coming to the table, uh, you know, I hit on topics that resonate. Thanks for all of your time, guys. I really appreciate it. Much love. Well, thank you, James. And have yourself a Merry Christmas. You too, guys. Next, I'm going to go to Marianne uh, Sukokos from Owl's Authors. And she's going to talk about Alzheimer's and dementia and all that good stuff that they got going on. So mm. uh, there you go. Hi, Liz. All thanks good. For, thanks for having me on. I'm Marianne Shuko, and I'm with Owl's Authors. We're the global community of authors writing about Alzheimer's and dementia from personal experience to light the way for others. Our mission is to provide quality vetted books for people on a dementia journey. Anybody uh, who is familiar with this or any other kind of catastrophic uh, medical issue uh, in a loved one knows that it can be overwhelming and we are often caught unprepared so uh, what we try to do is to help people who are suddenly found in this situation of caring for somebody with the dreaded illness and to help them find good books, blogs, podcasts, and other resources to help give them the information that they need. So we've been doing this for eight years now. And you can visit our website at allsauthors.com. And um, there we have a, a blog, we have a new book, a new author every two weeks. We have uh, over 350 authors, more than 350 books in our collection. And we do a podcast and that comes out on the alternate weeks. We do virtual events and we have a bookstore that's categorized for um, ease because people don't have time to go searching online, looking for stuff and, and not knowing if what they're looking at is relevant or, or useful or of good quality. So we try to provide people with a, a good place to go to, to make it easy. And um, I don't do this by myself. There are 10 people on our team and everybody's a volunteer. So if you are in that situation or know somebody who is, have them check out the website, allsauthors.com. Um, it came about because I had written a book, a novel about Alzheimer's and dementia called Blue Hydrangeas. 
and I was having a really hard time finding an audience. So I reached out to some other people that I knew who had written on this topic and we decided to get together and cross promote each other's books. And that was back in 2015. And now there are over 350 of us and, and more coming where our blog is booked into, we're starting to book into May and in May of 24 right now. So we're, we're kind of busy. So thank you so much. It was great to be here to see all these lovely people. So many people on a, on a great mission or has written such wonderful books and, and, based on their personal experiences, which are very uh, interesting and unique. And I'm just happy to be here. And um, I met Liz through, I think, one of the podcast matchmaking services. And we did our show back in October. And it was really a joy to speak with her. And she asked a lot of great questions, like, like everybody says. She really uh, made me think. So I appreciated that. So thanks so much. Well, thank you so much. It's so nice to see you again. Next, thank I'm going to jump into Gloria Peterson. Get her up here. I'm trying to get everybody on before we wrap up. We are scheduled to close at nine o'clock. So I want to get everybody out of here by nine o'clock. So Gloria, the stage is all yours. Okay. Well, thank you. I uh, was referred to Miss Liz by Jackie Jacoli, and I don't think she's on here. I saw her earlier. She was, She was, but she had to skip out. Okay, well, I wanted to thank her because she referred me to you and I had a great time with you. You have an amazing network. Oh, my God. I'm going through and I'm reading these chats and I'm listening to what everybody says. And I think, what a network you have. My goodness. Um, but a little bit about me, Gloria Peterson. Uh, for 30 years, um, I specialized in doing seminars, training, speaking engagements on image and interpersonal skills. And I wrote four books on those topics. Those, these are the books. They come under the category of the art of professional connection. So they're all about image. They're all about present, presenting yourself well to other people, uh, meeting over meals. Um, there's etiquette protocol, all those wonderful ingredients inside of all those books. But um, what brought me to Ms. Liz, though, is uh, during COVID, I decided to sit down and kind of reflect because you couldn't go anywhere and you couldn't do anything, but you could reflect. And I thought about those 30 years of that topic. And I said, gee, do I really want to continue or do I want to make a change? Because um, if I'm going to make a change, this is the time to do it when you've got just nothing but time on your hand anyway. And I, I started getting curious about this mindfulness movement. Certainly it's been around a long time, but I started diving into it. And I started YouTubing and trying to figure out what is this thing? What is this movement? I've journaled a lot off and on throughout the years. But um, I was gifted during COVID a gratitude journal. And I'd never seen one written quite like that before in like workbooks fashion. And then I did that for a while. Then I thought, well, wait a minute. There's, there's a certain way I like to journal and certain pieces that I want in the journal based on what I'm researching and what I'm learning. So I decided, yeah, I'm an author. I'll write my own. So that's why I was on her show. I wrote uh, a book called Mindfulness and Health Watch where I combine, and it sounds like the majority of this audience is on the same page, where I am taught, getting you to think more about being in more control of your emotions, your um, reaction to things, your life, your, your everything, but also not forgetting that there's a health component to your physical self. Um, and I think the, um, one of the reasons I said health watch, because I'm kind of thinking health watch, and I'm thinking in terms of steps, I found out through, um, a physical that I had, I wanted to have a full physical at this particular stage of my life, this age, and I'd never had a brain scan before. And I was shocked when I found out that I had a, a stroke scar. So at some point in my life, I had a stroke and I didn't know it. And I know when it was, we figured it out. I was a stabbing victim at a department store um, some years ago. And when my body went into shock, that's probably when that happened, but it didn't happen enough to, to damage me. But, um, also over time, as you get into my age category, we'll leave that alone there, um, sometimes blood flow and oxygen flow to the brain starts to get hampered a little bit. And um, I learned from my neurologist and my cardiologist that, you know, I've got to walk, I've got to force that blood flow, I've got to force that oxygen flow, because I was starting to get worried about dementia, because it was in my family, Alzheimer's, I was getting scared that I was coming down with that already. And so I just got on it. And uh, when I found out that worked and it was changing things that I was not being as forgetful as I once was, and I was disciplining myself to the walks 
uh, focusing on the health part of it, um, I wanted to share it. So I wrote another book. This book has done well. And I just did the 2024 edition. It will be uploaded to Amazon this week. I think by the end of next week, there will also be a Spanish version. I was re I had several requests for a Spanish version. So I thought, hey, <laughs> why not? <laughs> And um, I just find it's just a healthy way to think. We talk about mental illness and mental health. And I think each of us has to take control of our own. We can't help other people until we take control of our own and we find a way to be happy in sad situations. I don't know how else to put it, but that's who I am and that's the journey I am now on. And I also feel that as I go back to this world, which I will, um, I'm putting this component in there <laughs> because I think sometimes we're teaching skills and skills are great, but if you don't, if you're not and don't have the right mindset and control of yourself, those skills aren't going to work. You're going to learn skills. and They're just going to go to the wayside. Nothing's going to happen there. You've got to get control of you first and then the skills will work. And that's, that's the page I'm on now, but thank you for inviting me. I I've enjoyed listening to all of you. I stayed put I'm staying to the end. Because uh, I'm enjoying all your stories and your experiences with Miss Liz. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. It is a pleasure to see you again, Gloria. I'm going to bring up my sister, my co-author, my friend, my encourager, Jennifer Grenier. She is a woman that pushes me when I have those downer days. So, Jennifer, you are up. The stage is all yours. Thank you for that introduction, Liz. And you're not supposed to make me cry before I start talking. <laughs> I gotta um, make someone cry. <laughs> uh, it's an honor to just know Liz on a deeper level um, and to collaborate with Sig with her and Nancy too um, in Sacred Hearts Rising was um, was really a dream. <laughs> I spent, I was a mom at 14 and uh, a widow at 18. I spent most of my life consumed by heaviness and grief and just trying to find that joy. Um, when I met Liz, she actually helped me come in contact with um, the, the woman who actually started Sacred Hearts Rising, who actually is a relative of mine, and I didn't even know <laughs> that uh, that was all happening. But when you align yourself with people that are meant to be there. Um, everything just falls into place. And I, and I was praying for a way to share my story. And Liz just happened to be there a few provinces away and uh, hear the lady that was actually um, founding the book lived in my hometown and, it, you know, or from my hometown. And so that's how my journey with Liz started. Um, I I spent the majority of my life, like I said, consumed by a lot of heaviness and grief. And I feel the halfway through my life, I was given the opportunity to almost start my life over again. And it has been filled with joy and love and peace. And um, I have two beautiful children and a bonus son I have. Uh, four grandchildren I have. Um, it's just beautiful. And what I love to do now is to be able to um, help other people just spread that joy and that love with one another. And I do that by um, doing that with cards and it and ha forming those relationships and building, you know, just in the world that we live in, we don't tell people how much we actually care and love them and how much they mean to us. And in a second, that can all be gone. And that happened to me personally on a deeper level when my sister passed unexpectedly while she was on a holiday. And um, we can just never, never tell the people we love enough how much we truly care about them. And so I absolutely adore creating cards and sending them to people. And I love to teach other people how to do that too. So. Thank you, Liz, Thank you. and blessings to all of you. Thank you so much. I really, really 
this woman has been my lifesaver. Like she has pushed me through a lot of hardships and she's also did the forward in book three of Miss Liz's TEA books. Uh, if you want to check those out, you can check that out on Amazon and all that good stuff in Miss Liz's website. But tonight I want to celebrate all of you guys. Uh, I do want to get May in here. Then I'm going to get Dr. Karen in here and then I'm going to get Ann Charles and then Isaiah. And then we're going to wrap it up with Nancy. So we got less than 12 minutes. So let's do this guys. So let me get May in here and then we're going to wrap it up for season 2023. May, are you there? She might not be. Okay, May, that... maybe not. But I'm... Maybe not. So let me get Anne in here. Anne, I know you are wrapping gifts with your children. So let me get you in here. There she is. Uh, let me get you up here, girl. There you go. Are you okay? Are you I okay? am good. All good. Great. I got just one left, and I'll take that in the house. Had to come out to my office to wrap. Um, I have only just been writing and doing writing-related stuff. I write fiction, mix of uh, genre fiction, uh, mystery, humor, adventure action all that good stuff with the goal of giving people just something to smile about or laugh about and take them away from all the current stuff going on in their lives um give them a little break and uh, holiday on the page having a good time and that's pretty much it what i do in a nutshell i have um i think it's 36 or 37 books now out there and they're all available in ebook print and audiobook so and when I was on your show, I had such a good time. I did grab a hat. Um, there's my hat for you. We had so much fun wearing hats when I was here. So um, I'll be seeing you again in March. And I look forward to it. And I'll have a different hat. So, oh, awesome. Yeah, we're going to do hats. <laughs> it was wonderful to hear about all of you guys. I've been here the whole time just listening. And, and you guys are all amazing. Uh, thank you so much. I'm with that get... hat, she's got to do a Russian jig now. Do, 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 do. Hey, do, 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 do. there we go. <laughs> okay, let me get, I think I have, I'm going to get Isaiah in here. He is a friend who has supported me along the way. Let me get you in here, Isaiah. Uh, do, do, do. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Maybe he fell asleep. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get May in here. We're going to wrap this up. May, can you hear me? She's muted. Okay, let me go to Karen. Oh, Isaac, let me get you. I see you. You popped on the screen. There you go. Share a little bit on how we know each other and, and all that good stuff, Isaac. Hey, hi everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Isaac. I um, I got to uh, I was checking on LinkedIn uh, during uh, when for release, and I was you know just connecting uh, because the only thing to do at that time was just to work from home, and uh, I was uh, uh, working on my LinkedIn profile. So I I was reaching out to you know folks within Ontario. I I. Uh, and I stumbled on uh, on Ms. Lee's uh, page on uh, LinkedIn, so we connected on LinkedIn, and I uh, I put some conversation. And funny enough, you know, we actually um uh, I I'm a member of Rotary Club, uh, uh which you know, when you connect on LinkedIn, it shows any member that is connected to Rotary as well. You get to you know, that page. So we talked about Rotary and. Uh, through uh, my club and um, um, business club um, and, uh, and an e-club we connected and we, uh, we did some partnership um, uh, together uh, uh, as well. Uh, for me, I think it's, uh, uh, life is in really, really great. Um, just, you know, uh, meeting, you know, friends online. Uh, the book that um, you wrote as well, I, I remember I bought uh, the books. I read the books and sent the book to my mom in Nigeria as well. And she, I mean, you were really talking alive. Um, 
you know, uh, and that's what I really want you to do that, that there are many people around the world that are really in those groups and, uh, uh, you know, and their lives are really being taught. So uh, thank you very much for, you know, putting up, you know, the, uh, the book and uh, for sharing your story as well. Everyone, I mean, you all have uh, amazing stories. Thank you for staying strong and, um, you know, um, and making the world a better place. Oh, well, thank you so much. I don't know, you sound like a little robot or echoing. I don't know if anybody else heard that, but thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh. I want to I want to call up Mickey, and then I'm going to call up uh, Dr. Karen, and then we're going to go to Nancy, and she's going to wrap it up with some soul singing. So let me get Mickey in here. Hi, everybody. What are we doing? We're just explaining. I'm sorry I came in late, so I'm not sure what's... Hi, Diane. Sorry, what's going on? <laughs> So, Mickey, just a quick update on how you know me and all that good stuff and how long we've been working together. Oh, um, so my name is Mickey Mickelson. I'm the owner of Creative Edge Publicity, which is a um, traditional book publicity firm that represents a number of authors, many of whom are actually here tonight. And I've been working with Elizabeth for over probably over two years now, if not longer. Right, Elizabeth? We're going in our third. Yeah. So um, I represent um, three New York Times bestsellers, three USA Today bestsellers, one of which is here tonight, and Charles, and um, a number of different authors in a different number of different veins. I'm co-owner of a literary magazine called Top Shelf Magazine, of which I, I co-own with Amy Ravishandran out of, out of Texas, who owns Abundantly Social. And um, we represent all genres and all kinds of different things that we do. So yeah. That's me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mickey. It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you nice in years. You well. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> We've been seeing each other through emails, but we haven't been seeing each other through face to face. So Absolutely. Thank you. Lots so I'm going to bring, thank you so much, Mickey. And I'm, I'm happy that you got to come in, say a few words. Next, I'm going to jump into Dr. Karen. I'm going to try May at last uh, one more time. And if I can't get May in, then we're going to jump to Nancy and we're going to wrap it up because we're five minutes out of closing this tea time down for 2023. So let me get Dr. Karen in here so she can share a little bit on how we know each other and some good news as well. Well, hi, Elizabeth. How you doing? And for everybody, I am Dr. Karen Dodd. I am the owner of His Designs LLC, but the creator of the Proverbs 31 and 10 brand. And so I'm creatively bringing Christ to the nation, selling one t-shirt at a time. But I'm also a talk show host and also a speaker. And how I met um, Elizabeth is that she was speaking on a leadership experience tour. And so I wanted to support her. So I brought a ticket from her and I ended up going to hear her speak and we just connected. So we've been connected on Facebook and then just recently, drum roll, I did a contest. I was looking for the Ruby Girl of the Year, a woman that was outstanding, a woman that had impact in the community, and you'll never guess who won. Elizabeth won as the Ruby Girl of 2023. So y'all just congratulate her in the chat because she was just amazing throughout the whole contest. And I look forward to the collaboration in 2024. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. It, it's a pleasure. And I can't see where we're going to go with this Ruby and tea together. We're going to create some really good stuff and some workshops and all that. I'm going to try May one more time. If not, I'm going to call Nancy up and Nancy's going to give me a quick update. And for everybody that wants to know why I kept Nancy last, because me and Nancy, we had a hoot and she sent me this book and guess what? Miss Liz is going to take a trip by herself somewhere. So look out. I might be coming to see you. May, can you hear me? May, are you there? Okay, she can't hear me, so I'm going to go yeah, over to Nancy. She can hear you, Liz, but you need to <clears throat> unmute her. She's having trouble unmuting. There's yes. less people in the room, so you should probably be able to unmute her pretty easily this time. Yeah, she's not unmuting herself. I'm sending her requests, and she's not. No, can, can you unmute her from your end? Uh, let me try really quick. Since there's so few in the room now, you should be able to do that pretty easy. Yeah, I think so, eh? There should be a uh, button at the bottom that allows you to just mute, unmute yourself, to be honest. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's not allowing me to do it. Yeah, so on the settings at the very bottom of the screen, you'll have mute, stop video, all that. 
If you just yep. click on the mute button, that'll unmute or mute you. Depends on what device you're on, Mickey. Well. Yeah, no, it's not letting me unmute her. Uh, ask, do, 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 do. Nope. The app appears differently off. on different devices. So, May, we're going to just get you to put all of your information into the comment section so people can reach out to you. We're going to go to Nancy and we're going to wrap it up. We got two minutes and then 2023 of tea time for Miss Liz is over. I am going, I'm trying not to cry because it was my biggest year so far. 161 tea times were done this year. So uh -huh. I am just blessed with all of you guys that gave me the time and honor. So Nancy, you rocked it the last time. I'm going to get you to rock it this time. So give us a quick update and thank you for the book. I am taking a trip. I will keep a drum roll and let everybody know where I'm going. And yes, I am taking a cruise. So <laughs> that's all I'm giving. So Nancy, if you want to wrap it up with a song and all the <clears throat> good stuff using all that stuff. Oh, Liz, you are the bomb. This has been really fun. I had no idea you had such a completely huge diversity of of people. This has been so interesting. I love it. Lots of authors, you know, lots of self-help people and helping the world. It's a wonderful thing. So I am an author also. I wrote a book called Work at Sea, See the World. That might be backwards, <laughs> but it's all about how to get to work on a cruise ship. Um, I started out as a jazz singer back in 2011 and actually found my happy place. I mean, so I've, I've launched a program for musicians called Notes That Float to try to get them gigs on ships. And uh, so in addition to the book, I'm using part of that. I also have another little program called Speak at Sea and Sail for Free, where if you are a speaker, I can connect you with people that will hook you up to be able to, you know, get some bennies on board. Anyway, so that's what I've been up to. But oh my gosh, you, you I didn't think you were going to make me sing, but I'll do it anyway, just because I figured, all right, I why not? I said I could do it. So you're going to make me do it. I'll go for it. So, But considering the vast amount of nationalities we have here and the tremendous need for getting some peace in the world, I was going to do something Christmas and I think, nah, I'm going to go with this one and hopefully this will resonate with everybody because this is what we need more than anything on the, on the planet at this time. It's a little piece. So I'll give you this one just to finish you off and send you home with some good vibes. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as our Father, family all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow. To take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Thank you so much, Nancy. I love it. And we do have a surprise guest that just popped in, and it's Terry Angel from peace so i think it just works out so terry i'm going to bring you up and then we're going to close it up and i want to thank you all for <clears> joining me tonight all my listeners and viewers out there share this tea time during the christmas season reach out to my guests if you'd like to collaborate or connect or buy any of their books reach out to miss liz and i will connect you guys and thank you again nancy so much for being who you are and giving me that push to take a trip by myself oh liz get out there and do it girl <laughs> so terry you're gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna close it up for 2023 oh i i had the time wrong i thought it started at nine and i've been on the road today so i just got to my destination where i'm at i'm on a journey called the peace on earth tour and i travel throughout the whole united states bringing peace into different areas and loving every minute of it so I invite you to check out my website, angelspeakers.com, where you can find out about the Peace on Earth tour and 
the three over three years now that I have been journeying throughout the nation and just bringing in peace. If you want me to come to where you are and you're part of the world, just shoot me a message on the contact page and I'll gladly come by. We'll do a land blessing to bring more peace into your area. And I just want more peace. I also have a project called 10 million for world peace that I uh, co-created with my partner, Marbeth Dunn. And we do a daily meditation at 111 Eastern time every day to call in peace. It's very short. It's a seven minute meditation, but it's packed with a punch. So I invite you to join in on that as well. So thank you, Miss Liz, for letting me jump in here last minute. I really appreciate it. You know, peace has to start inside of us. I love the song that was just sung. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin in me. And every night we chant for peace. And at the end of that chant, we have a declaration. And I would like to, to end with that. The declaration says, we declare that there is peace on earth. And we declare that peace begins inside of us. It has to be on the inside for it to go to the outside. Thank you all for letting me come in tonight and to be here with you. Well, thank you so much, Terry. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Joseph, for picking on me. I love you guys. Like <laughs> We're like husband and wife, pick on each other all the time. Thank you, Deanne. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Nancy. Nance. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Jonah. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Lukeman. Thank you, Dr. Karen. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Simo. And thank you, May. May, please let me know uh, your update and I will get it up there for you as well. May is an incredible person. Check her out. I know she couldn't get on tonight, but she's incredible. She's a mom of 10. Check that woman out. She got an empowering story. You want to check that book out. Good night, um, John Boy, for those who get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And I want to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Joy in the well. Uh, happy Hanukkah. Like whatever you celebrate, just bring peace in your life. And let's all make a difference in 2024. Let's stay connected. And if you want to be back on Tea Time, my door is open for all of you guys. Once you come once, the door is open for you to come as many times as you want after that. So if you have any books, programs, projects, any of that good stuff, you come and check. Joseph, I know you're already going to pick on me. You're coming back. We know that already. <laughs> you're coming a few times. Mickey, I really want to thank you for working with me for three years and continuing to bring incredible, incredible authors. Uh, your clients are amazing. Oh, They're well-respected. That's the schedule today, right? For 2024? Absolutely. We booked for a whole year. So Mickey has booked with Miss Liz for a whole year. So Miss Liz is almost booked for 2024. I only have 13 spots left. So who's going to be those 13 spots? We don't know. There's okay. other people that I work with. So, and, and all of you guests will be on special tea times. If you're coming back, if you're not booked within the 2024 season, I only have a hundred slots next year. I'm taking the morning show out. We only have afternoon and evening shows. Miss Liz will be doing other things in the morning. There's some other cool things that will be happening. So stay tuned for that because it's not just a podcast. This is actually a mission. I'm on a mission to show that we can make a difference when we actually support one another. And I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for making 2023 the best year of my life. Thank you all and have a Merry Christmas. And I'll let you all sign off when you're ready to sign off. And then I'll close it up for the year of 2023. So to Miss Liz, 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 Lovely to meet you. you. Everybody have a great Christmas and uh, 24, and we'll talk soon, I'm sure, Ms. Liz. Absolutely. Talk to you soon, everyone. Liz. Lovely meeting everyone. Lovely I'm hanging meeting. back. Again. <laughs> I was checking out Gloria's um, the journal. 
I think it's really lovely. I'm thinking of it for my girls, um, the girls' program, you know, to kind of keep them mindful and focused and, you know, concentrating on their health and that kind of stuff. So I was just checking it out, but I don't think the 2024 one is out. Um, I'm not seeing it on Amazon, so. But I'll be in touch No, with I think, uh, yeah, Simo, I think uh, Gloria's Mag uh, her new book is coming out just the end of December, the beginning of January. Uh, okay. I'll let you know. Okay, great. I think it's something that really benefits the young ladies, you know. We all need to kind of Absolutely. have that, um, yeah, something to streamline us and keep us focused, you know. I think it's, it's going to be good for me as well. <laughs> so. I think it'll help us all. Yeah, Gloria's books are amazing. Would. Yeah, really lovely. Really well, lovely thank you so much. So, yeah, so I'll have to jump on one of those tea times this year coming. Um, kids. So we'll Absolutely, yeah. We have to have you back. Yeah. You're in season one, I believe, Simo. So we have to bring you back. It's been a few years, so it'll be nice to come back. I see great things for 2024. You know, and I'm really looking forward to getting back in the groove of things. Um, not all the stuff, but to communicate and network and that kind of stuff. You know, so been off the yeah. radar for, for a while, but um, it's time to start back living. You know, so. absolutely. Yeah. Have a happy new year, everyone. Um, yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, you, Rick. Rick. Yeah, thanks so much. The new book, uh, I forgot to mention, but I'll just mention it quick. It's called Paving. Uh, it's a new book about jazz for peace coming out on the 27th of this month. And it's called Rick Dolorada, Paving the Path for Peace Through Music. Awesome, Beautiful. Rick. Rick, send me that information through an email mm -hmm. and I'll get it up as an update. Okay, will do. Great. Thanks so much. Not a problem. Thank you so much. Thank you for playing tonight and singing. I, I appreciate I it. My pleasure. Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And then we, have, we have Jonas. Where's Jonas? Yeah. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miss Liz. Mm -hmm. So we we we've been blessed, and then that was amazing, you know, to see you guys. We love you. Thank you so much, Jonah. Stay in touch, and stay out of trouble because I'm watching you. It's <laughs> <laughs> lovely meeting you guys. So we'll catch up. Have a great night. Thank you so much, Imo. Okay. Thank you so much, Nancy, for tuning in and being here. It's a blessing, and you're welcome. This is, this is how we serve tea, right? We serve tea of life. Yeah, and we yeah, we truly do. We truly do. It's a challenge sometimes, but we're champions. So I've got some really exciting stuff coming up with Daphne. So on January 21st, we have uh, Joe uh, George Billings. He was one of the fellows on the Freedom Convoy. Ooh. He is our guest. So we're going to be talking about courage under fire. And then the one and only Pat King is coming on with Jay Bernard. Absolutely. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yes. Just like, you know what? Yes. I need to get Pat oh. King on Tea Time. I need to get George well, on Tea Time. It's a, it's a big challenge because of their restrictions. So yes. Pat is only allowed to speak about fundraising. So I'm like, well, that's perfect. Because Jay Bernard is fundraising for Empower to Recover. Exactly. So once we're able to find the space that's it so i'm getting married on february 14th of 2025 in mexico um my brother is coming to play the piano my girlfriend is going to sing we have an officiate i have my dress um it's just everything is falling into place that's so funny. spectacularly so we're going to mexico in january february and we're going to find the venue. So awesome. it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, it takes a lot of dedication to do what we're doing. So stay the course. Absolutely. It's a lot of work. And this yeah. was just a touch of the iceberg of all of the people. There was over 362 interviews in oh four my years. my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, incredible people. So, like, if anybody hasn't seen any of the tea times, check out the YouTube channel. Go back to yeah. season one, start with season one, season two, season three. And you can see in season one that where Miss Liz just started off. And then I grew as the years went on. And that, and I love that people that the guests that have been on my platforms start their own podcasts, start their mm -hmm. own platforms. Because then I can say, oh, you know what? 
I give them that little push, you know, they got that little, well, we, we see others. And then yeah. we, at first we watch and we think, Oh, I don't know. And then maybe I got Pat's hoodie. It says waiting for the King. And then it says something on the back and I wore it today. Um, and, uh, it was interesting to be standing in line in Sharper's drug mart and you'd kind of look over the corner and you'd see someone kind of, you know, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a good feeling it's a really good feeling and there's a lot that's going to be coming forward we've still got our fellows from the um coots they're all still locked up it's been over a year liz that's crazy yeah crazy. it's been over a year and yeah. and they're fighting against each other in certain ways not the coots fellas but um, Tamara Lynch's Lynch, Leach, Lynch, her book came out. Daphne let me read it. And to read how she had a lot of good information, but for her to call Pat a big mouth, loud mouth, it's just like. Yeah, but it's like that with everything in life, right? You always have the, the one side. They're on your side while it's happening. But when it mm. when it gets divided, then it's who was better, who was this, who was that, you know, who who said more, who did more action. You know, there's the connection and then there's the division. And when the division happens, then we have mm -hmm. chaos, we have corruption, we have hate and shame and guilt. And, you know, we get all this poison. And, and that's why I like to do what I'm doing with Tea Time and bring all of the guests for all different flavors, all different blends, all different diversities and you know, of mm -hmm. countries out there because it affects all of us. It affects it the human race. It it's one great big Canada ripple. or U.S. Yeah. It affects no. everyone, right? It affects everyone. And the more that we are able to be honest about what's going on in our lives, the more we have the opportunity to inspire and integrate. Integrate is a really good word because we look at medicine that's a hot topic, right? Did you get poke? Did you get poke? Are you taking the this pill? Are you taking that pill? Where are you at with everything? Whereas when we can look at integrative life and integrative medicine, then we can see what works without throwing poop on each other. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's been really crazy. Like, you know, and I see all of these incredible faces after so many years coming together, meeting each other, had it not been for just one hour tea time, nobody mm -hmm. would know, you know, and then nope. you get people that have known each other. And then they're like, how did you get on tea time? How do you know, Miss Liz? And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I've had that happen this year. A couple of guests, they already knew other people because they were on other podcasts and they were like, oh, well, I know Miss Liz. Well, I know Miss Liz first. And I'm just like, okay, no fighting over Miss Liz. We're It's you, funny, you know? isn't it? Yeah. 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 I know. Sometimes I'll walk into an event and I'm like, Nancy, Nance. And I'm like, oh, hey, I know you. <laughs> you don't know you yet. Um, <laughs> how have we met? Like, did I miss something along the way? Or my grand baby next one is due on Christmas Day. So Ralph's daughter. So I've got my T-shirt that says Nona Sparkles. I'm going to be rocking that. Um, so much to be grateful for. Yep. So much. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a, been an incredible yeah. year. Like I said, 161 tea times in one year. I didn't think I could pull it off, but I did. Uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. Yeah, I'm it a is. one person team, so I don't have anybody else helping me. Uh, yeah, you know, me too. So, so it is a lot of work, but it is worth it. When I get to see yeah. everybody together, then that's my price. That's my payment of seeing mm -hmm. everyone together. How's yeah. your health, honey? I, I'm dealing with some stuff. So that's why I took out the morning show and that I will be taking care of myself more and my health. Sure. If we can't take care of ourselves, how can we help others? Right. So mm -hmm. I am taking care of my cup and going to be taking Good. care of it. So yeah, Good. Good my, my voice is starting. My voice is starting to cry, cut out uh, the muscle spasms and stuff and that are getting a little bit more. So uh, glitches mm. in my face my eyes right now are are stable so that's a good thing uh and that but my hearing is going so you know it's give or take but we just mm -hmm. continue on and we do what we can but i have enough content and enough guests that have come 
that can help Miss Liz when Miss Liz gets to the point where she, you know, where I can't anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I, I want this to continue. And if I can't continue it, maybe one of my guests can take it over or somebody I've met take it over and yes. open it in a different way. Right. So, yes. Yes. With your guidance for sure. Yeah. For so, sure. Yeah. So I'm, just, I'm taking every day the best I can and that, and mm -hmm. I'm holding strong. So I, I'm looking at different options, different things that we can do. Uh, that's why next year will be my last year for podcasting. And then I will see where I go from there. So we're, we're going to mm -hmm. give it one last year, wrap it up and then maybe open some doors some other way, maybe a virtual and maybe a public stage, maybe open events, public events, stuff like that again. So. And where's the uh, cruise ship taking you? Oh, uh, I am going to leave that because I, okay. I, I have two dates that I have to pick. So I'm, it's either okay. or, but yeah, Nancy sent me this book and oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm just like, okay. Is one of I them Italy? It. No, it's either Norwegian okay. or Alaskan. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I can't do tropical because I'm deep. I'm deadly allergic to coconut. So we're okay. trying to find a cruise that has less coconut because then I can go mm -hmm. in certain areas and stuff like that. So because of food allergies and stuff like that. I want to be very careful because coconut is a deadly out. It, it'll, it, it could kill me. So I don't want to, wow. I don't want to take a cruise and die. Right. I just want to go and have no. some fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it'll be by myself. So I'm doing a, I'm doing an independent trip by myself to empower myself. It's almost like eat, love and pray. Yes. Yes. So good. Yeah. yeah. Good. So, well, enjoy. I, I love you so very, very much. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, and like I said, I might just disappear for a couple of months and 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 then pop up and show everybody who Miss Liz and where yeah. I've been. So you know, Good. Might be a journey. That'll be fun. That'll be yeah. fun. Okay, well, have a wonderful rest of your holiday season. Well, thank you and Merry Christmas to you. Thank and you. I want to thank you, Nessie, for tuning in. It was really a pleasure You're having welcome. you. Thank My you. My so absolute much. pleasure. Love you. Love you, girl. Merry Talk Christmas. Soon. Merry Christmas. And that is a wrap for 2023. We had we had a little bit less than what we expected, but that's okay because you know what? It wasn't a mandatory tea time. It was a tea time of bringing people together. I really want to thank each and every one of my guests who took the time to sit and share their updates. Check out the comment section. Ms. Liz has put all the information there. If you're looking for a certain a uh, guest that was on and you want their information and you can see it in the comment section, please reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at my email address at bookingmissliz at gmail.com or you can check me out on my website. And again, this was a free event, so share this with your families. And if you'd like to make a donation to help Miss Liz with future uh, projects and events, you can do that on my website as, as well at www.misslizesteatimes.com. It is not necessary. It, it, it it does help Miss Liz with the, the mission, but I really just want you guys to enjoy the time and the conversations that we had tonight and just understand that gathering during this time means a lot to Miss Liz. And I want to thank you all. And we're going to wrap up 2023 and we're going to start 2024. I believe we're going to start the first show is January 4th. We And the release for that will be going into the press releases and also will be on the website. So you can check out the guests that are coming in January of 2024. Until then, I will wish you guys all a Merry Christmas. Happy, happy New Year's. Have a safe and enjoyable season. And if you need anything, Miss Liz is only a cup of tea away. Until then, take care and I'll see you.